you lovely lot thank you very much for all your response to my questions of what would you like me to do and which kind of films you love they were really really helpful and the most common question asked was how do I cover my dark circles without it creasing well I'm going to show you how straight away now the first important thing to take note of when you're applying concealer to your eyes is to be aware of what texture your skin is. So you might have dry skin like mine and I've just applied an eye cream. I've actually used a Bobbi Brown hydrating eye cream. I do love Zellen's eye cream and I put it in the fridge and it's really, really lovely. But a friend of mine who works with Bobbi Brown sent it to me and I was really surprised at how delicious the Bobbi Brown skincare is. Really, really nourishing. So I've been using this around my eyes. I am a fan of eye creams and oils also around my eyes. I carry them in my handbag. I've also found a really lovely new oil actually called El Curia, which I'm going to do a post about soon because it has a very light molecular weight, which means it really sinks into the skin beautifully and it feels like silk. Anyway, we'll move on to that another time. So if your skin is dry, what you need to do is apply your eye cream, but don't overdo it. It's such a common mistake. It's very like when you apply a dark or strong color to your mouth, you put lots of lip balm on first and then the color just slips. When you've applied your eye cream, just take a puff and a tissue and just pat the excess off. It takes a couple of seconds, but it means that your skin is hydrated, but you don't have that slip. It's not the product that's sitting on your skin that will mix with the concealer, allowing it to move into the creases of your eyes. If you have a skin, and it's very common just around the eye area, especially around the lid around here, that it actually gets quite oily throughout the day. You probably use an eye primer to keep your eyeshadow on. If this area gets very oily, then what I suggest you do, very simply, after you've put all your moisturizers on, etc., is just to take a cotton bud, dip it in my cellular water, because it doesn't contain or leave an oily residue on the skin, and just backwards and forwards with your cotton bud, just remove that excess. So now you've got the perfect canvas for your concealer. Now, if you've got a very small amount of darkness in your eyes, I just suggest you use a light reflecting concealer and just place it in the corner of the eyes where your bluey green and then blend out. If you need a little bit more help, I suggest you color correct first. Now again, Bobbi Brown does this really well and she has the color correctors in, in peachy tones. I'm going to be using the lightest one, porcelain peach. Now this, again, is a very opaque um, concealer and it really blocks the colour. Now the point of colour correcting is that you knock back the colour and peach is really good to get rid of the kind of lilac-y, bluey tones that you find underneath your eyes. Knocking back the colour then means that you've got less to cover, so you use less concealer, making the area of the skin around your eye looking fresher. It sounds complicated, but it's really not. I'm going to be using a very small brush because it's a small area. And I'm just going to take a little bit of the color just literally in the dent of my eye here where I'm really bluey gray. So you can see it's a little bit peachy. It's not a color match. You can mix these two colors together actually, the light and the peach. There is another one in between. I just don't have that shade. The light's too light. The medium is too peachy. And of course, being a makeup artist, I'm always sort of mixing things, just literally in the area of the bluey grey part of your eye, okay? Now I'm going to blend my concealer into this, but this is a really, really great place to start and it makes a big difference and it stops you overloading the eye area with concealer. Now, if you have very dry skin around your eyes, then I suggest you use concealers that have serum in them. So the Charlotte Tilbury Mini Wand actually has an eye cream on one end, flip it over and then you've got your concealer in there so it really feeds the skin. Um, and the serum in the By Terry Densless is confined in the concealer. And that's really lovely. It's one of my favorite ones that I like to use on myself. If your skin isn't so dry, then I suggest you use a flexible opaque concealer. Cover FX do brilliantly in this department, as does this new one by Rimmel. It's called Lasting Finish Breathable. And I love this one because it's got a little sponge on the end. I'll show you both applications because why not? So I'm going to apply the By Terry just slightly over that area and right into that little dip. Now this will cover, but it will also hydrate my skin and my skin sucks moisture out of anything. So I'm just going to put it in that area just there. All of us need coverage in different shapes. So don't think, oh, I've got to do that big triangle that I've seen online before. Don't do too much. And you don't need to bring your concealer right out here. 
it's very unlikely that you're going to have thread veins or pigmentation or things that you really need to colour in this area. And there's a lot of movement in your eyes and that's why the pigment moves and that's why it settles into the dips because you're using your eyes through expression. Um, so you will always get a little bit of movement but by doing these tips that I'm showing you, you will get less creasing by sure. I'm just going to leave that to set. This is another really important part and I'll go to the other eye. It's really nice and snuggly. It sort of fits into your eye, gives you a bit of control. And just down the side of the nose there and just don't go too close to your eyelashes because then you sort of tend to shrink your eye. Now I'm going to let these set just a little bit and then I'm going to push with my ring finger both products under my eye. And this is really important especially with this side it's got light reflective pigments in so if I do the windscreen wipe a mistake then the light reflective pigments aren't sitting in the pores of my skin so they're not bouncing back that beautiful light which we need. So it's always a pat action. Now, going back to removing the excess oil, which again is really important to prevent the creasing. If you follow lots of my films, you'll know that I love the Micature blotting papers. Um, so I'm just going to wrap this around my finger. We'll use it on the puff, but I'm just going to push that into this area of my skin and it just absorbs the excess so it stops it from moving. If I was to put powder straight on that, I would still have the excess product so it would still sit into the lines. The powder comes next after I've removed the excess. And when you feel your skin after you've absorbed it with blotting paper, it does feel softer. So to set, it has to be the Laura Mercier Universal Powder. This is a white translucent powder. And if you've never popped your finger into one of these little pots, oof, um, I urge you to, it's really soft, disappears to nothing and makes your skin feel like silk. It's a really beautiful, beautiful formula and if you look online you'll see that it's incredibly popular too. So I'm just put the powder into my Real Techniques brush, I love this brush, look how perfectly that just sits in there and I'm just setting, setting what I've done. Now you might say, oh I can't put powder under my eyes, no, 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 not for me, just be patient. Maybe not instantly. Instantly you might think, oh no, I don't like that powder, it doesn't look great. You need the powder just to absorb the product, but it softens in a second. Put it under there, looking nice and wide awake. Now, if you do feel that that's too much for you and you want it to be perfect instantly, do this. Rub your hands together, create a lovely heat between your hands, and then first put the palms into your sockets. Oh, that feels so nice. And then just push the heat of your hands around the eyes. And this literally instantly softens the makeup, connects it with the skin, and it just looks lovely and fresh. Now, this is the way to conceal your eyes. It might seem like a lot of new things to bring into your routine, but really it's a blotting paper and a tissue. And just a little bit more thought on what you're doing. Overloading your skin, especially the area of your face that moves a lot, it's obvious that things will crease and go into the dips of your skin. This way it won't happen. Oh, and you might get a little bit of a crease, you know, by the afternoon or by the end of the evening, but hey, so what? So long as your eyes look brighter and more awake, it's worth it. Makeup does move, but if you've got a crease, so what? This will make your skin look really great and I would love to get your feedback. Now you've tried these tricks and has it worked for you and has it made a difference? Now you've thought about your skin type and how you're putting the products onto your skin. Please feel free to share my films with your friends and if you haven't already, I'd love it if you could subscribe. Look forward to speaking to you next time and chatting to you down below. Bye for now.